It happened again, bro. Every time I leave town, for whatever reason, shit hits the fan. You guys do not like to let me have breaks. This track season does it rest, bro. Today, we got my man Flawedzilla dissing Ryan Upchurch. Again, weird worlds colliding for me. Really like both of these guys. My limited understanding of this is based on some Instagram messages that I got from people telling me to react to this. That Flawed reacted to the Tom McDonald disses that Church put out and didn't like the songs overall, said some stuff about him, and then Church didn't take too kindly to that. I know Flawed's pretty big on Tom McDonald. I think he's done some interviews with him before, but I thought it was cool with Church, too. So maybe not, apparently. But I'm here for it. You guys know I'm all about the music. And speaking of music, I'm currently doing 60% off on music reviews on my website right now. So if you've ever had a song that you wanted to show me or wanted my advice on anything, you can book that on my website. I sit down right here. I record myself listening to the song, giving you feedback, and I send it back to you. And you're free to do whatever you want to with it. Some people post them as reactions. I'm fine with that. I don't care. I'm just there to offer my advice. And also, I'm doing my first live show in three years at Yankee's Gastro Pub and Brewery in Glasgow, Kentucky. It is a free show. It's at 9 o'clock, roughly. All you gotta do is show up and help support my local hometown businesses but okay with that out of the way let's see what the hell happened and why this is happening three two one let's go people can watch your videos and see that you're high as fuck what if i was i mean i'm not but what if i was what drugs do you like i like are we going uh, a drug route um i like shrooms and sometimes i like to take adderall in the studio mm. and someone said the other day they said man this beat is kind of nasty. Days, what's the deal? Passion, motherfucker. I'm on a mission. Alright, so it kind of feels like we're going to a, a drug addicted route here. Must have taken a minute to dig up all those audio clips there. What's this background right here? We got Tom McDonald, Jelly Roll, Morgan Wallen, Luke Combs. Is that... Who is this? I, I can't... Is that that one Canadian girl that's super weird? Chase Matthews? We got some people that he's got issues with? I know he doesn't like Luke. I know he doesn't like Chase. I, I don't believe he likes Morgan. Definitely doesn't like Tom. Does he have beef with Jelly? I, I didn't know that was a thing. All right, well, the beat is building up, so let's see what's happening here. This nigga losing it. I used to think he had it all. Dude should be in padded walls. Too much sniffing Adderall. You either have to think I'm stupid or unconscious. I know a junkie when I see one nigga. Uh. You check all the boxes. Uh. You try That's a good choice of a beat pause right there. I like some of the inner rhyme schemes that I got. He's got a good delivery going on here. It's kind of simple, but it's also effective. I know a junkie when I see one. You check all the boxes and using the audio clips about him talking about that he likes weed and shrooms and Adderall. Okay, so that's the angle we're going with here. You should try detoxing, but you'd have to face reality. With all the narratives that you paint, your ass could make a gallery. Oh, Church. that's a bar right there. With all the narratives you paint, you can make a gallery, an art gallery, painting pictures, painting narratives. Not bad, dude. You should try detoxing, but you'd have to face reality. With all the narratives that you paint, your ass could make a gallery. Up church, but more like upskirt, cause you vagina getting <laughs> Cause your work's much worse And views declining but Oh man I don't know about Hold on I, I don't know about that I mean music is subjective But I've really liked Some of the stuff That he's put out Over these last two years I wouldn't say his music Is getting worse Up church more like Upskirt cause you a vagina Vagina's up the skirt Little play on words there But the whole views declining thing I will say At one point I mean church was getting Hundreds of millions of views And it's kind of hard To go up from there So I would almost argue That maybe they're not declining They're just not getting As much as they used to Because that was like At a super high point Which I guess maybe Is just another way Of saying declining I don't know I'm in a weird spot. Okay, I like both these guys. Regardless, delivery is on point. I really like the delivery flaw it's given here. And views declining, bunch of yes, man. You keep around, watch, but not gonna speak the truth. Be mm. for all your people, so the problem probably is you. Ooh, that was a nice and be for all the people, so the problem is probably you. That was a nice little flow right there, good alliteration. And that is a popular saying. If you're always in trouble, if you're always beefing with somebody, maybe look in the mirror. Maybe the problem isn't all these other people. Maybe it's within yourself. I mean, flaw tossing out these look in the mirror bars. Those self Reflection disses hurt the worst, man. I'm telling you. Beef with all your people, so the problem probably is you. Mad to see your friends succeed. Turned on everyone you had. Act just like a jealous ex. Uh. Cause they don't love you back. Face uh. it, you could just look at Chase and Luke to name a few. You hate them okay. too. I'm more fame than you. And if that ain't the truth, then take my loot. Nope, my bank's still full. You a petty hoe. Your career in the more than your wild and jealous a jelly roll. Oh you my god, that is so dope. Bar right there. I'm sorry, man. Okay, so yeah, definitely making connections to the background pictures that we talked about earlier. But your career in the morgue and you wildin' Morgan Wallen. That was a dope bar. Jealous of Jelly Roll. I don't remember any of that happening, and I'm almost certain I saw Jelly Roll like one of Upchurch's posts the other day, so I think that whole situation's fine. But I know the Chase Matthews situation isn't fine, which sucks. Because I went to an Upchurch show, I think, two years ago. Maybe it was last year. I don't remember when all that beef went down. But 
Chase was the opener, and it was a good opener for the show, and the chemistry felt right. Then the whole Luke Holmes situation, everybody knows about that. Then the whole Morgan Wallen situation. I know Church did a Broadway Girls remix before the song even came out with Chase Matthews, so a big love triangle of diss and beef. Again, pointing out just some of these self-reflection bars. Jealous a jelly roll. You ain't on my level. You'll make diss tracks and call them bait cause shit's whack to give the illusion mm. that you could gotta drop like eight. Losing the you Ooh, okay. You could abuse all the coke you need. Seeing you every time I throw through feed all I can think is go to sleep. Like are you Okay, not bad rhyme schemes. It's very easy to toss out some songs that you think are fire and then everybody starts kind of like, eh, it's all right. And you'd be like, oh, it's just bait. It's just bait. Don't worry. I got better stuff in the chamber. And that's the angle that he's going with right here. And to convince everybody that he's good, he's going to drop like eight tracks on Tom before Tom ever drops one back. Again, quantity over quality. Got some interesting angles for sure. Like, are you wasted? Say, nigga, all you want won't call you racist. Why don't you said it with mm. the Rodney family since you're by yourself out here solving cases? Did it solve mm. your pussy? Got backlash and said that you wasn't political. Now you want to be a patriot, but really you ain't nothing but hypocritical. Damn, you man. Pioneer, now you're trash. Please check Ryan's ears. Soon to be laughed by your peers, knowing that you can't beat that crying tears. Burning through wow. your Johnny Cash post a walk the line instead you sniffed it. Acting like oh you're a Phoenix Joker, locked inside your head, you're twisted. Yo, that's not a bad little tie right there, too. Because Joaquin Phoenix played Johnny Cash in Walk the Line. He said you're burning through all your Johnny Cash. You were supposed to walk the line. Instead, you sniffed it. Sniffing the line. Cocaine. We've heard that bar before. Tying back to the drug stuff in the beginning of the song. But then tying Joaquin Phoenix to the Joker because he also played the Joker in the solo film. Locked inside your head. You're twisted. Calling him insane. That connection was insane. I really like all that. And then this line about the Rodney family. That was the Kaylee Rodney stuff. And I remember all these videos coming out. Is that what this headline is right here where he was sued for Defamation? Did he get sued for defamation over that? I don't know, man. This is probably the best church diss I've heard of all the ones that I've heard before. Acting like you walked in Phoenix Joker, locked inside your head, you're twisted. Nigga need an intervention. Say you never stop, but you've been dependent. Stay begging for another mm. man's attention till he ends you like you end your friendships. Wow. Don't get what you're doing to Tom. Nigga, are you really suing your mom? Witnessing somebody ruin mm. himself while everybody is rooting him on. Talk Dang, man. SEO. Sound real good, but let's see, though. You do the same thing, Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, George Strait, Kenny Chesney, bro. Ah. This nigga like a white NBA young boy. Nobody in his life to say some. He can save his own life if he make one choice. I know what it's like, and it ain't fun. Stop it. Wow. Get some help. <laughs> the Michael Jordan meme. Wow. Couple things I want to talk about here. So he's talking about this SEO line right here. Willie Nelson, George Strait, Merle Haggard, Kenny Chesney, all famous country artists saying that he uses their name in SEO for his YouTube videos. But when Tom uses Up Church's name for SEO in his video, he gets upset about it. Just pointing out a little bit of hypocrisy. Yeah, look, you can see it right here. Merle Haggard, George Strait, Willie Nelson, Kenny Chesney pulling up receipts. And then him suing his mom. I mean, he should be suing his mom. That was some crazy shit. Like biologically, yes, they are your mom. But they're not acting like your mom if they're stealing money and buying houses for other people and all this other weird stuff that was going on. And we got some more lines about him claiming to be independent, but he's dependent on all these other people. <laughs> and then this NBA young boy bar about just having so many yes men and nobody there to tell him what he's doing is bad. Wow, man. Okay, there's there's a whole lot in this. Well, let me know what you guys thought of this. Do you think he should respond? Do you think he should not? Do you think he should acknowledge it? I know I'm a few days late on this, and I didn't want any kind of spoilers, so I do a little bit of research after this to kind of be more prepared if something else develops from this. But I personally think this would be a pretty solid one to respond to. I've heard church respond to worse songs, but want to know what you guys think. That's it for this one. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. This is my song right here if you want to check me out. Lately I've been overthinking shit, but now it's time to change. I've been making raps for people that don't even know my name. I've been making songs for hoes that show me nothing but some hate. Hoping I can say some rhymes that might just change the ways. But one thing I've come to learn, hatred isn't blind. People hear the truth, but they choose to believe the lies. People see the talent, but closing both of the eyes. Seems like anywhere I try, it's uphill when I go to fight, but I got my boots like